Oh, hurt me. for making it this far into the video so this is the third part where I'm gonna be uh, sort of talking ab about it um, first there was like when this was clean and non messy I, I shot some some shots there then I had it out for a drive and, and had a lot of fun with it so that was that was actually a good time with the little DT-01 here um, so yeah, um, I'm supposed to talk a little bit about it and I'm supposed to sort of try to, to sound like I know something about it. The rules are of course that you can skip this part uh, if, if you want. You can also stick around and, and listen. Um, so my opinion about this little boogie is that it's a... Uh, I really like it, of course I do, because I have it and uh, yeah. Um, so so it is obsolete technology it is like this here rear end design is is like that it's the stuff from the grasshopper and the hornet and all those uh but but tamiya have officially made those um those modifications to it so it, so it actually works quite quite well um you saw in the clips that it does do that bong 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 thing when it uh, when it goes on uneven terrain and uh, but not nearly as much as as a grasshopper for example the front uh, so you know it doesn't have this um, double wishbone suspension so it has just a is that called a single wishbone well whatever so it it bends the wheel whenever it um, it does something. But the suspension works as we saw it. It got a little bit of airtime, not not a hell of a lot of airtime with the uh, with that power that it's got. Um, but it goes up in the air. It has a little bit of a terrible um, entry to to when it wants to land, and it lands on one wheel. And that one wheel, the because it has the uh, the oil dampers, so so that one wheel compresses the damper. And the oil inside the damper goes through those little holes in the piston and, and and that happens so slowly that it absorbs the force of the little toy car and 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 those those are real physical laws laws of physics that apply to a little toy car like this and and this is this is what it's about this is what the hobby is about this is the fun of it. And the exploration of these uh, 
um, physical concepts. Uh, so yeah, good fun with this this little boogie. Um, it's ugly as hell, of course. That that's just that's just a fact that I have to live with. Um, I'm not completely sure about the the yellow window uh, thing, but. But I knew that I couldn't sit and, and paint a little driver figure either, so so I, I sort of did that. I also knew that that I needed to do something else than, than the regular stickers that it came with. There was a lot of gold and, and, and flashy stuff. Um, but but this is more stealth stealthed out. So murdered out black. So probably I need to scuff off the yellow and, and give it a black look. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit to it. Okay, yeah, and the other thing that's that's actually obsolete and, and bad on this one is the, the front steering. It's just uh, it's just so much lock in it. It's, it's intolerable. Um, so we've got these set of wheels here. I have tires somewhere. Uh, the G601 is no more, and 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 uh, most of the the tires from the six wheeler are on the lunchbox. Um, so I can take the rears off the lunchbox, put on this one, then I can make a new set of fronts, and that is what they in the business, in the in the hobby, in the community, they will call it mad bullifying. Because the other DTO one that exists is the Mad Bull, and that's the one with the big monster tires, and and it's basically a boogie with with monster um, wheels. So let's get the body off, and and at the same time, I'm gonna have to just sort of uh, replace all these uh, these little flimsy parts with with something that's a little bit more um, more up to date and that can handle these bigger bigger tires on it and yeah well probably the old silver can needs to go and and yeah we need to do something about it so um so there's a bit of plans for this car here and uh and what i can tell you now is this year 2023 on the radio control car side of things is amazing I got so much stuff going on. Um, I've made a few videos about going to the track and driving there, and I'm still exploring that. Um, my Kyosho Neo Inferno is in pieces because it's broken again. Uh, I have the MP10 coming. Uh, I'm struggling to build that one. Um, it's just more difficult than my talent reaches to. I have something else amazing going on here. Uh, I I pulled the the trigger and I bought me a DB01 uh, Durga from it. It came from Japan. It, it even I managed to uh, the paint job. I love it. I managed to incorporate thanks Japan and a, and a Japanese flag on it and and the whole um, Gazoo Racing uh, theme on it. Um, yeah, Gazoo Racing. The uh, Toyotas didn't win in Le Mans this year. Ferrari did. Okay, um, so this this thing I struggled a little bit to build it, but but wow, this is a cool boogie. This is a cool boogie. Um, the damn slash was broken again. It's fixed now. Um, yeah, there's, there's there's quite a lot of stuff going on. It's it's good fun. It's good fun. So so with that, thanks for watching.